so what's up guys hope you all are doing well and welcome back to a new video so recently i've been having this issue where i'd be getting really good fps like 60 70 or even 80 fps in the games i'm playing but for some reason i feel like they're stuttering now i initially thought it's because i installed the game in an external hard drive but then i installed the game in the ssd of my pc now i actually talked about this in the recent benchmark video that i made and I found out that it's not because of the external hard drive. There's something more to that. Now, as you guys can see here, I'm getting really good FPS, like 60 to 70 FPS. But the frame time here is not stable. Now, frame time is just as important as FPS for getting a smooth experience while gaming. Now, as you guys can see, the frame time is super unstable in the games I'm playing, which is why I feel like they're stuttering. Now, to fix this issue, what I need to do is make the frame time stable. Now you can do it in a lot of ways. Sometimes games offer the option to cap your FPS, but they always don't work that well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now before we go there, I need you to understand how important it is. Now if you ever played games with a PS4, you would know that the PS4 runs games at 30 FPS. Now if you played on PS4 on person, then you would realize that the 30 FPS on PS4 is much smoother than the 30 FPS we get on PC. Now why that happens is because of fixed frame time. The frame time is fixed on 33.3 ms on PS4 which is why you would get a much smoother experience. Now in this video I'm gonna show you how you can do that on PC as well. Now before we begin if this video helps then please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as it will mean a lot to me. Well let's begin now. So first what you have to do is install the MSI Afterburner app. I would put the link down in the description box below. Now after downloading the software, you have to install it. Now I hope you know how to install a software. Now MSI Afterburner can do a lot of things like show on screen monitoring stuff. I actually have a separate video on how you can see your FPS, frame time and stuff like that using MSI Afterburner. But this video is not about MSI Afterburner. Now while installing, you'd realize that MSI Afterburner requires you to install another software which is reverting on static six server. So you have to open that. For that, go to your system tray. Then here, before that, you have to open MS Afterburner. I'm sorry, I forgot that. So let's open MS Afterburner first. Now, after opening MS Afterburner, go to your system tray and you will see this logo. So right click on it and press show. Now here, you have to set it up just like this. So first you wanna make sure that application detection level is set to high. Now, it's not super necessary, but it's good to have because sometimes the application don't actually get detected. Now, if you're playing a game that's not being detected on RTSS, then what you can do is press add and manually add your game from here. So let's add Assassin's Creed Valhalla manually. So for that, I just have to go to the installation location and select the .exe file. You can even have separate settings for each game. So if I want to customize my statistics for this game, I can do it from here. Now that's not the reason we're here. So go to global, then go to frame rate limit, then set it to the hertz of your monitor. Now I'm currently using a 75 hertz monitor, but my PC can't run games at that much FPS. So I'm going to cap my FPS on 60. Now what this will do is cap your FPS as well as make your frame rate stable. Now, you guys might think, well, I can do that with VSync or any kind of other settings. But sometimes that doesn't work, but this is actually guaranteed to work. So you can use that, or if you're getting lower FPS, then you can cap your FPS to 31 FPS. Yes, 30 and 31 FPS does have a difference. So I recommend using 31 instead of 30. Or you can go higher than that. You can even use 100 FPS, 144 FPS, or FPS like that. But I recommend using 60 FPS for most people because I think that's standard I can say. And well, it will be saved automatically. Now, if you don't want to take the hassle every time of opening this software, just press this button, start with Windows. Now, if you're not getting like smooth or stable 60 FPS on a certain game, as I said here, just add the game, then go to the game and then set a stable frame rate. So let's set 31 FPS here. Now, Scanline Sync is much different than this. It isn't actually VSync. I actually thought it's VSync, but then I did some research, I mean, some Googling and found out that it's not the same thing. So there's no reason to play with this, but you can just play with the frame rate limit. 
So first suppose if you are getting unstable 30 to 40 FPS, just set it to 31 FPS. You are getting 50 to 60 FPS, just set it to 51 or 55 FPS or something like that. And if you are getting 60 to 70 FPS, just set it to 60 FPS. I think that would be the best and well that's pretty much it. Now here's a comparison of after and before using this thing. So well there's the test for you and well this is it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.